Let's take a look at um, chapter four test review. And um, comes up here. There we go. Okay, use properties of logs to condense the log expression. Write the expression as a single log as coefficient is one. Evaluate log expressions if possible. So we have for number one. So my pen would work. I'm gonna grab a different pen. <laughs> That one's not working. Grab a different one. There you go. So we got two natural log of, uh, boy, my eyes are bad. I think that says x plus three, x minus three. I hope I don't miss out because I can't see. Um, plus, I think. Minus seven natural log of x. Well, we want to merge these into a single log. And um, you, you can't uh, do the subtraction here until you get rid of the numbers in front. So first thing we'll do is apply our property, our plot power property, where if you got a number in front of your log, you can put it as your power. So we got natural log of x plus 3 squared minus natural log of x to the 7th. Now, the quotient property. If you got log of something minus log of something, subtraction becomes division. So we're going to have natural log of x plus 3 squared over x to the 7th. So let me uh, enter those in. Uh, use properties. Uh, okay, I've been guilty in the past of not reading the instructions closely. So hopefully I'm reading them close enough. Okay, I've got a fraction. x plus 3 squared. And then this one's uh, x to the 7th. I think I'm ready to get a larger monitor. How my eyes are. Okay, next question. Use properties logs expand. Okay, um, by the way, let me type in the calculator. Okay, so we want to expand this one. So we got log base b of z squared x. You always have to ask yourself what's the main thing happening when you expand it. Now look inside the parentheses here. We got the second power and we got multiplication. And the main thing that's happening is multiplication because it involves everything. Second power isn't the main thing because uh, the x is not being raised to the second power. Well, multiplication becomes addition. So we're going to have log base b of z squared plus log base b of x. Now our goal is to get the variable by itself with the log in front of it, which the x is okay, but the z squared isn't. Well, we got a property that says you can take your power, put it out in front. So we got two log z plus log x. Okay, so we got two log, and I'll push this, um, uh, subscript uh, button here b of uh, what was it z yeah z plus log base b um, do a right arrow get out of the subscript and then x and then next question uh, solve the exponential equation so we got uh, what's that say 10 to the x 10 to the x is equal to 3.15. It says solve it, uh, express solution in terms of natural logs. Now this is an exponential equation. Our first step in solving exponential equations is get the part of the variable in the exponent by itself. No numbers in front of it, no numbers after it. Well, this is by itself. Our second step in solving exponential equations is to take natural log of both sides. So we've got natural log of 10 to the x is equal to natural log of 3.15. Our third step in solving exponential equations 
is to use properties of exponent or properties of logs to get the variable out of the exponent. So I'll take that x and put it out in front. So we got x natural log of 10 is equal to natural log of 3.15. And our fourth step of solving exponential equations is to divide both sides, or to solve for x, so we're going to divide both sides by natural log of 10. Because remember, natural log of 10 is just a number. So we're going to have ln of 3.15 over ln of 10. And those are going to cancel, and that gives us our answer. Now first off, I think they're wanting it, um, what is the solution in terms of natural logs? Do I need an x equals? Okay, I don't think I do. So I do a beginning parentheses, <clears throat> natural log of 3.15 over natural log of 10. Decimal approximation. So I'll plug that in the calculator. So I got uh, natural log 3.15, close parentheses, divided by natural log of 10. And uh, decimals, what does it want? Uh, round to two decimal places. So this would be um, 0.49, this is 8, so that rounds up, so that'd be point, point 0.50. Zero. Or 0.5. You know, probably count that wrong because I put the zero on there. Okay, here's another one. Come down here, and we got 7 to the 2x minus 1 power is equal to 343. This is another exponential equation. Uh, step, the exponential equation, the variable and the exponent. Okay, step one, um, get the part of the variable and the exponent by itself. It is by itself. There's nothing in front of it, nothing after it. We just got 7 to a power. Step two of solving exponential equations is to take natural log of both sides. Noisiest town ever. Um, so natural log of 7 to the 2x minus 1 is equal to natural log of 343. Step 3 of solving the exponential equations is to get use properties of logs to get the variable out of the exponent. So I'll take 2x minus 1 and I'll put it out in front. Now when I put it out in front I have to leave parentheses around it because we're going to multiply it times the natural log of 7. Step four, solve for x. Well, this is a linear equation. The reason why it's a linear equation is we've got x to the first power. So we're going to, uh, first step, get rid of parentheses. And we're going to use the distributive property. So I'm going to take natural log of 7 times 2x and times a negative 1. Now, when you multiply the natural logs together, it's real easy. You just put them next to each other. So we're going to have 2x natural log of 7 minus natural log of 7 is equal to natural log of 343. Step 2, get rid of fractions. Don't have any. Step 3, get everything with an x on one side and numbers in the other. So I'll take the negative natural log of 7 to the right side. And we've got 2x uh, natural log of 7 is equal to ln 343 plus ln of 7. You take anything cross or equals, your sign changes. Now our last step is to divide both sides by a number in front of your x, and we, we do have a number in front of our x of 2, but we also got a number after our x, the natural log of 7. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2, natural log of 7. And those 2's cancel, the natural log of 7's cancel, and we got x is equal to natural log what am I writing bad today? Um, 343 plus natural log of 7 over 2 natural log of 7. Now the question is what kind of simplif simplifying that wants to do. Express each side as a power of the Express each side as a power of the same base. <sighs> Read the instructions, David. That would give us to us if we plugged in our calculator, but <laughs> okay. Now I'm assuming 343 is seven to some power. Seven times seven is 49 times another seven gives us um, 343. So that's seven to the third. 
equality of exponents. It says if you can rewrite both sides as the same number to a power, you cross out the sevens, set the exponents equal to each other, and then solve. So take negative one over, becomes a positive one. We got two x is equal to four, or x is equal to two. Helps actually read uh, the instructions when you're doing these. I'm not even tired today. That's a. I'll try. I'll try actually read the instructions from now on. Okay, let's look at our next one. Solve the log equation. Be sure to reject any value of x is not in domain. Give the exact answer. Okay, so exact answer. So what is this problem number five? Got log uh, base five x plus 21. I probably had trouble with an online course um, taking it because I don't read this. I don't follow instructions very well. I don't read the instructions obviously. Okay. Now our steps for solving a, lo a log equation. First step is get everything with log on one side, numbers on the other. That's done. Our second uh, step is to use properties of logs to get a single log. Well we have log of something minus log of something. Subtraction becomes division, so we're going to have x plus 21 over x minus 3. Our third step, use definition log to rewrite it in exponent form. Remember, whatever number follows your log, the smaller, that's your b. Then whatever follows that is your q, and the other side that equals is your p. So our exponential form is b to the p is equal to q. So we'll plug in what we identified. So we're going to have 5 squared is equal to x plus 21 over x minus 3. 5 squared is 25 equals x plus 21 over x minus 3. And this is a rational equation. Rational equation is because we got an equation and you got a variable and denominator. Our steps for solving a rational equation. Get rid of parentheses, don't have any. Get rid of fractions. Multiply everything by the LCM of all your denominators. We only have one denominator, the x minus 3, so we're going to multiply everything by that. So I got 25 times x minus 3 is equal to x plus 21. Distributive property, 25 times x is 25x. 25, 25 times negative 3 is negative 75. Equals x plus 21. Get everything with an x on one side, so I'll bring the x to the left side, becomes a negative x. Numbers on the other side, so I take negative 75 over, it becomes a positive 75. 25x minus x is 24x. 21 plus 75 is 96. And divide both sides by number in front of our x, which is 24. And we got x is equal to 96 over 24. The top is divisible by 2, bottom is divisible by 2, probably more than that. But, um, what is that, 48? This is, um, 12. And I guess 48 divided by 12 is 4. So 4 is our answer. <clears throat> okay, solution set. Uh, put 4 in there. Now, oh, I didn't say it, but um, 4 plus 21 is 25. 4 minus 3 is 1. So it checks. Write the equ equation's equivalent exponential form. I wonder if I could leave this up and running. Um, try to open a new page on it. Probably won't let me. Okay, did. In case I get anything wrong, I won't go back and look and see where I went. Went askew. Confident in my problem solving skills, but not confident I actually read the instructions. Or that I can see. Write the equation in its equivalent exponential form. Well, the number that follows our log, that's smaller, is our b. And then what follows that is our q, and the other side is our p. And our exponential form is b to the p is equal to q. So we're going to have 6 to the 4th power is equal to 1296. Okay, so i got 6 carat 4 equals 1296. Next question. Write the equation in its equivalent log form. 
So we've got 9 to the third is equal to 729. Now this is an exponential form and uh, your power, your exponent is your P. What's immediately the left of it is your B and the other side of the equals is your Q. Now our log form says we're going to have log base B of Q is equal to P. So we'll plug in what we identified. B is 9, Q is 729, and P is 3. So we're going to have log, um, there's my subscript, of 9, right arrow to get it out of there, 729 equals 3. Next question. Uh, graph the following. Okay, we're not going to make a table of coordinates. I'm just going to graph it. So 0.5 to the x power. On my calculator, I'm going to press my y equals. Press my clear. Now I got the, this set from statistics. I got plot one set, so I'm going to do an up arrow. Put my flashing cursor on plot one and press enter. You don't want those highlighted at all. Then I'll do a down arrow. And I'm going to go ahead and do a zoom um, six. That sets it back to your standard viewing window. Okay, so that's fixed from statistics. So now let me put in 0.5 caret x. 0.5 to the power of x, and then graph. Okay, so it opens that way. It looks like it goes through 1. Actually, there's only one opens up that way. So it would be this one. So next question. Use common logs or natural logs in a calculator to evaluate the expression. So we got log base 16 of um, 12. We don't have a base 16 button on our calculator, so I'm going to rewrite this using the change of base. So this will be log 12 over log 16. It's always the same. Whatever follows the log right here is always what goes up on top. Whatever your base is is always what goes down below. Now what's the benefit of uh, using a change of base? Well, we can now plug it into our calculator because we have a log button. Now I want to be out of graph mode, so I'll do a second mode. And I'll push my log 12, closing parentheses, divided by log 16. And you can put a closing parentheses at the very end if you want, but it isn't necessary. And then enter. Assuming four decimal places, 0.8962. Um, four decimal places. So 0.8962. Next question. 0.8962. Just double check myself. Solve the following log equation. Okay, so we're going to have log base 5 of x plus 8 is equal to 2. Uh, step one of solving log equations. Get everything with log on one side, numbers on the other side. That's done. Step two, get a single log. That's done. Step three, use definition log to rewrite an exponent form. Remember the number that follows your log is your b, the smaller. Then what follows that is your q, and the other side of the equals is your p. So our exponential form is b to the p is equal to q. So we're going to have 5 squared is equal to x plus 8. Then our next step is to solve for x. Well, this is 25 equals x plus 8. Take the 8 over. we got 25 minus 8 is equal to x. Or it gives us, uh, what is that, 17? Okay, 17 plus 8 is 25. So it um, doesn't give us log of 0 or log of negative number. Whatever answer you get, you have to plug it back in. And like, For example, if I had ended up with negative 20 here, negative 20 plus 8 would have gave us negative 12, and you can't have a log of a negative number. But 17 is okay. Click that, put 17 in, and let's see how picky uh, my math lab is and which ones I get wrong. Because I didn't read the instructions, didn't enter correct, just doesn't like me. Oh, that's all I like to see. Um, 100%. Let's see, review test, go to, I don't think I can review test on my computer at home. But anyway, that's the um, chapter 4 test review.